Well, we have managed to get our grubby hands on another Colinago. The first one was a Colinago Master Pew. Absolutely beautiful bike and probably one of my best builds yet. Really did enjoy doing that, so I couldn't resist when I seen this bike to get my hands on it and share with you guys. This is a Super Pew. How do I know that? Well, it says so on the top bar here. But before we get into our bike, a little bit of history. I will keep this very brief because we did cover it in the first Colinago video. It all started in 1952 with Ernesto Colinago built frames for the likes of Eddie Merckx and if you're into cycling and you don't know who Colinago are then where have you been? Absolutely beautiful stunning frames and very prestigious from Italy and yes very happy indeed that I've got another one to share with you. So let's delve straight into the frame and also the bike itself or what we have of the bike. Obviously we've got no wheels. The group set well that's Campagnolo Sensure. We've got nine speed rear mech uh, we've got a crank sets, matching front mech and also calipers and levers. So that's great, we've got the group set there. We've also got a Campagnolo seat post and we've got a lovely handlebar stem uh, which has got a bit of panto going on there. So you've got a Colinago on the, on the handlebar stem, fantastic. The frame itself, well I did say I'd tell you exactly how we knew it was actually a pew. The Super, the model, the Colinago Super, actually started in 1968 and this frame was the basic frame that actually carried Colinago all the way through um, and in the late 80s, early 90s, we had the Pew model. Basically all this was, was the fact that we have internal cable routing, so this rear brake in this top bar here. So we've got some nice internal cable routing, beautiful lug work and some nice forks there as well, the crown's really nice. So yes, it should make a really nice build. We've got a saddle to find, we've got no saddle, and I'm probably gonna replace these handlebars. Definitely keeping the stem though, that's a very nice thing indeed. But if you watch these videos, you'll know that basically what we do is strip these bikes down and we're gonna to have to do exactly the same to give this frame the care and attention that it deserves. So what are we waiting for? Let's crack on and get a move on with that. Well, there is the frame all stripped down. That was no hassle at all. Very happy to say. Uh, we do have all the parts in a bowl just down here. So generally always say, think, take things off, put them back on. It's all ready for cleaning and they're all in one place. Um, yes, the frame is fantastic. It's all going great. So while we're on a roll, let's get to cleaning some parts and polishing this frame.
brilliant. Well, I've managed to locate a wheel set and we've put a couple of Michelin Dynamic Gumball tyres on. They look fantastic and I can't wait to get rolling on these. The frame set, well, that has been rubbed down. We've put the bottom bracket in and we've also put the headset in. So that's all dress ready to go. It looks great. Looks like a brand new frame. Um, the handlebars, well, they're at the back there. They need a uh, wrapping. We're going to be getting on with that in a minute. And the group set has all been degreased. We're not going to polish that because it is all been lacquered. We've got the crank set to put back together and we do have a seat post that has been sanded down. We need to polish this up and get this like new. Um, we've also located a couple of nice Delta look pedals in white. So they're all on the side there. They're all ready to be done. Um, and we need to find a saddle and also that's all important water bottle. So plenty to be getting on with. We're going to start with wrapping these handlebars. So let's get a move on with that. Well, very excited indeed to get this Colinago back together. Really enjoyed the last ride of the Colinago Master Pew we did. So yes, very excited indeed. We've got all the parts of the jigsaw as we generally do on the side there. We've got the bottom bracket in, the headset, all the wheels are ready to go so it shouldn't take too much effort at all. Even the cables are already in the handlebars. We've got that all important water bottle just down here, but you will have to wait and see to after the build to what we've got for that. So what are we waiting for? We've got the blue gloves at the ready. So let's crack on and get this Colinago back on the road. Wow, well, what a result. It looks absolutely stunning. I can't wait to get this bike out and try it out, so hang around for that. But yes, the bike itself looks beautiful. Really loving the black on the actual Colinago itself. Looks really well with the black and the white. And uh, yes, the bike looks absolutely stunning. The bike went together really well, no problems at all. It was an absolute dream and a pleasure to do. It's put a big smile on my face, that's for sure. All that's left to do now is get the water bottle. We have it here. We've got a Colinago one, of course. So let's pop it in and finish it off. Brilliant, the icing on the cake. Well, all that's left to do now is get this bike out and try it out. I cannot wait.
absolute flying machine and like typical Manchester weather the rain has come in but I have still got a massive smile on my face this has been the Colonago Super Pew absolutely stunning and rides more like a modern ride really happy that we managed to get it on the road it really does deserve it this bike is a viewer's bike which is Tommy it was his father's bike who fortunately has passed away so really happy that we've managed to save it and get it back on the road if you do enjoy watching these videos please like share and subscribe thanks so much for watching bye for now